stop watching right now. There's a good chance that mountain bike racing will ruin your life. Devote any serious time to it, and the most cosmopolitan cities will offer no competition against the magnetism of the mountains. You'll tragically discover that even the world's best mixologists can't formulate anything more satisfying than a post-ride beer. But if you decide to embark anyway, few places on this planet will send you down the path to mountain bike damnation quicker than Whistler. With this place, crack rim's not gonna last, so I'm out. Back to Whistler, of course. One of the biggest races of the year. Whistler is iconic. And I think all the racers have been there plenty of times and everyone looks forward to going there. If you haven't been to Whistler, you're missing out. At its core, mountain biking is a sport of superlatives. In Whistler this year, those buzzwords are steeper, longer, and more technical. 3,200 meters of descent, five stages, the single day Super Bowl of the sport. Seven hours on the bike for things to go either beautifully right or horribly wrong. If you're not fast enough to earn your living racing, then a solid plan B is to invest your life savings in camera gear. Develop an eye for light and location, and then scratch and claw your way into the world of professional mountain bike photography. Being the staff photographer for the Enduro World Series, well, there's a bit of a traveling circus, each with its uh, own characters that have got their pretty strong personalities. We are quite a surprise sometimes to the local. <laughs> Can we do a, uh, a media squid radio Mexican wave? Uh... If by some combination of skill, hustle, and luck, you do happen to join the ranks of the EWS Photogs, you'll have earned the honor of calling yourself a media squid. So a media squid is just the guys just squidding around with a big backpack on. You got your camera guys thinking they're heroes out there on the trail, flipping over the bars. The hashtag pray for Duncan, definitely worthy of it, because every time you see him, he's just got some kind of disaster has happened or something's just going against him. It was Argentina, I had a bit of a crash and split my kneecap open. Come on, Dunk, we're leaving you behind. Hi, Duncan, hi. He was the ringleader of uh, the squids. I feel like Sven's the, the ringleader. Oh, the ringleader's obviously the silverback, Sven Martin. He's been around the longest. He's probably the most vocal out there. He is not afraid to tell someone to get the hell out of the way of his photo. Uh, Boris. Duncan, it's too polite to ask you to move. Hey, Moritz, no, Moritz, no, 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 no. We just got Boris to move. We can't have another German. He definitely knows how to sort of deal with any situation. Am I OK here? Oh, shit. Am I OK here for you? Nah, we can both get a shot. Is that better? Yeah. Squid should like water, but <laughs> we moan a lot when it rains. <laughs> <laughs> They're just as stoked as we are to ride a bike and they're stoked to get good photos. So, you know, the vocal ones like Sven, he just yelled at you when you do something cool. It's 
pretty unique in that you go to all corners of the world. It's amazing, really. You've got fantastic landscapes, you've got perfect trails, and you've got the world's best riders, and it all comes together. As I say, you know, picture tells a thousand words, and those guys do an awesome job of portraying what we're out there dealing with, so they're super important. For the media, no arena in the sport of mountain biking is as brightly lit as Whistler. And for an athlete, nothing is quite like racing the world's best on trails you call home. Focus right now is just Whistler. I just love racing at home. It's cool to have my family there and all my friends, and I just want to have a good, clean race and not have to worry about anything happening. And we'll see how it goes. It's hard because you come in with so much expectation on myself. Other people have the expectation, and you want it to go perfect. You want to go as fast as you can, but you can't overthink it. No, no, no. This is not what we want to see here, folks. Jesse Melamed pushing his bike down. What's at stake right now is there's a hometown kid on that hot seat, and Richie Root is coming down. Will it crush the dream of Jesse Melamed? Time coming in. Richie Root has done it. I wouldn't say I'm disappointed at all, but second place is, that's fine. It's just what I wanted was a good, clean day. I just wanted to be happy with the way I rode, and there's nothing I would have done differently. It's funny, because they flipped it around this year, so the longest stage is now the first stage. So you can't win it on stage number one, but you could sure lose it on stage number one. You can definitely lose it on stage one. And uh, you know, I wish the racers all the best out there today, <laughs> but something tells me some people's days are going to be ending prematurely. Stage one is a monster. There's definitely going to be some DNFs after stage one. I'm curious, you know, what Jared's strategy is, because he was always kind of saving for the last stage. Probably shouldn't try the hero move and try to just smash it to pieces. You just got to remember that whole big picture. It's going to be tough to survive in one piece, at least for the bike, for sure, because it's super easy to override sections and just blow up a wheel or tire. I was about three or four minutes into the top of the world and my chain fell off. Like, I haven't dropped the chain in years. And then my derailleur just ripped in half. It's, uh, it's a bummer, but it happens. Broken rim, got a flat. With this place, crack rim's not gonna last, so I'm out. Rare is the sport that can dish out the contrast of frustration with flow. One more. Another one down, really. Like, I just wanna have clean stages, and that's just what makes me the happiest, is just being proud of what I'm riding at, and hopefully I can take it from Sam, and then it's all up to the last stage. The problem with mountain bike racing is that the ups and downs of most day jobs are no match for the highs and lows of race day. Jesse Melamed, second place last year. This is a chance for him to get back to where he wants to be. So here we go, Jesse Melamed crossing. What's going to be the time here? Number one spot for Jesse Melamed right there. That's how you do it. Can he hold on, Jesse Melamed? No office chair offers the juxtaposition of uneasiness and comfort as the hot seat occupied by the race leader. One more guy stands between Melamed. Who's that guy? It's Sam Hill. Coming across the time. But well, what does that mean for the overall? Does Sam Hill get it, or is it Jesse Melamed? And Jesse Melamed has done it. Sam Hill in the second place. The local boy, Jesse Pelleman, takes the win on home soil. Mountain bike racing may not ruin your life, but it will definitely change it. There's a better way to explore, climb, descend, crash, and compete. I haven't found it yet. <laughs>